Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to give a speech to you today. First of all, let's enjoy a piece of music from John Cage. During the performance, the pianist didn't touch the piano once. I can't understand why people are frightened of new ideas. I am afraid of the old ones, he said. Well, similarly, if you change your perspective into a different one, you may find the world itself becomes completely different. Now, let me show you something different, not the old ones. Can you believe a motorbike can fly in the sky? Well, if you believe a motorbike can fly in the sky, then you can also easily accept the facts that owls can deliver letters, house elves truly exist, broomsticks can allow you to play Quidditch, and there's indeed a school for wizards named Hogwarts. The only qualification for you to see all of this is to change your perspective. Yes, I'm talking about J.K. Rowling's famous novel, Harry Potter. And that's the first thing I want to say. If you want the world around you to be full of possibilities and imaginations, you should try to change your perspective towards it first. The second thing I want to say is about Miss Rowling. Ms. Rowling once talked about the benefits of failure in her speech to the graduates of Harvard University. In the speech, she mentioned the most painful and unbearable moment of her life, when she became a single mother and lost her job. These huge life changes were like dementors, chasing her, grabbing all the happiness out of her. However, they also gave her the chance to see the sorrows caused by terrorism, and the power of infinity love, which lies behind all of those sorrows. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. As is known to all, huge life changes kissed Miss Rowling with pain, and she wrote Harry Potter to change the world in return. Change, personal or national, whether it refers to a pandemic like COVID-19 or war just taking place a few days ago, can rebuild a person or even the whole world. As Miss Rowling once said, we don't need magic to change the world. In my point of view, she really set a good example and did a perfect job. Not only the splendid and dazzling magic world created by her, but also the real stories happening on her shows the whole world that when loyalties are tested, challenges are faced, when everything is changing faster than the plastic broomsticks and seems to be hopeless when wars and terrorism are everywhere just like now. There are still things remaining the same for a thousand years, for a thousand more. And that is the most powerful magic to change the world. That is love. The love between you and your loved ones. The love to be always willing to try hard to change your perspective to view the world. The love to embrace any challenges waiting ahead. And the permanent love never fails in the face of any unpredictable change. Thanks again for listening. <laughs>